Hello, this is Dr. Do again. This video is um, outside of medicine. Continue uh, to read the book of Proverbs. Uh, I'm going to, uh, I finished the chapter, I think, from previous video I started uh, uh, from the beginning of the book and then finish the chapter 5. So I move on to chapter 6. Definitely chapter 6 need probably at least two, uh, uh, two videos. So I'm, I'm going to read it first. Warnings against the folly. Chapter 6. My son, if you have put up security for your neighbor, if you have struck hands in pledge for another, if you have been trapped by what you said, ensnared by the words of your mouth, then do this, my son, to free yourself, since you have fallen into your neighbor's hands. Go and humble yourself, press your plea with your neighbor, allow no sleep to your eyes, no slumber to your eyelids, Free yourself like a gazily from the hand of the hunter, like a bird from the snare of the fowler. Go to the end, your sluggard. Consider its ways and be wise. It has no command, commander, no overseer or ruler. Yet it stores its provisions in summer and gathers its food at harvest. How long will you lie there, your sluggard? When you will get up from your sleep, a little sheep, a little slumber, a little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of hands to rest, and poverty will come on you like a, a bandit, and scarcity like an armed man. A scoundrel and a villain, who goes about with a cropped mouth, who winks with his eyes, signals with his feet, and motions with his fingers, who plots evil with the deceit in his heart. He always steers up dissensions. Therefore, disaster will overtake him in an instant. He will suddenly be destroyed without remedy. There are six things the Lord hates. Seven, they are detestable to him. Haughty eyes, a lying tongue, hands that shed innocent blood, a heart that devises wicked schemes, feet that are quick to rush into evil, a false witness who pours out lies, and a man who steers up dissension among brothers. So this is uh, about uh, um, the first part of chapter 6, uh, warning about the folly. It's, uh, it's talk about um, those people doing the wrong thing on purposely. I think the folly that's probably refers to. Um, so this is the start with, oh my son, if you have put up security for your neighbor, um, if you struck hands in pledge for another. So oh, otherwise for the young people, uh, or I think apply to everybody, if um, purposely, this I think this first part referred to um, purposely, um, uh, some accidentally, um, cause the unease to the neighbors or to somebody else or uh, saying something um, really not not mean to harm but really cause the uneasiness to the others. I think it happens all the time. If you do not realize it then uh, it's just passed away but if you realize it I think uh, uh, this is what I refer to go to uh, make a peace uh, solve this uh, remnant, but sometimes it's it's really the judgment of wisdom. We all do this kind of thing. A lot of people are quite sensitive to get upset. You cannot just uh, following everybody to explain what you said, to explain what you did. But um, according to this, uh, at least you need to find a way to uh, seek a peace uh, between you, the other people, and between you with the God, and uh, uh, guided by this wisdom. So uh, I think the true part is set your heart right. One time, two times, and with, with time, everybody knows each other, so they knew that it's you, it's not from your heart. You're not uh, that kind of wicked people. Who are wicked people? I'm going to talk about that. And um, I think the uh, the next paragraph talk about this and um, also encourage to uh, for those if if that's the case look at those ends and diligent in addition to make peace with the neighbors with other peoples and also diligent use and as example so um, consider look go to the end 
uh, consider its way and be wise. So the, the ants doesn't have leaders. Uh, the ants do not have leaders, according to Solomon. Actually, nowadays the science already um, uh, studied. There, there are leaders. But anyway, so the ants, they just keep running all the time to store see uh, the whole season without uh, stop, without pause. So this is, uh, for example, to encourage p young people, to encourage people, particularly young people around Solomon, be diligent, work hard, um, and then say, uh, how long will you lie there? Or a little sleep, a little slumber, might uh, a little whole foldy hand um, to rest. So this is, I think this is the fundamental of the, the world today. No pause, no uh, cease, just keep running all the time, like little ants. Um, a scoundrel and a villain who goes about with a cropped mouth, and, uh, and so now start to talk about the wicked. The, uh, the first part of this uh, I just read is talk about what are the good things uh, if uh, good people do if you accidentally uh, wrong your neighbor or use language hurt the others and you did not help the others then try to make peace um, to uh, or compensate or to, to do something corrected or better uh, to make sure uh, it is um, uh, it is not going to bother you not going to bother the others and also talk about diligence and now from here I said about the the villain and the scoundrel and the wicked, what do they do? They hawking, they use crop to the mouth and pointing fingers and plot evils. And, uh, um, but those people are not going to last long. Uh, this is the, the wisdom from Solomon. But in the real world, it's hard to say, really. Uh, there are six things that Lord hates, seven that are detestable to him. So these are the six and sevens. The haughty eyes, which means greedy and rudely proud, uh, which means those uh, boasted, and also lying tongue, do not tell the truth, and uh, um, the, the hands that shed innocent blood. So this is the shedding blood. Here, uh, the, the Lord hates shedding the innocent blood. This is uh, the wisdom from the heaven, but in the real life, how can you tell, particularly during the war time, how to tell which blood is in the center? So this is really not our or my judgment or our judgment, but just this is try not to do this like the God said here, the wisdom from Solomon. A heart that devises wicked schemes and feet that are quickly rushing to evil. So this is uh, a false witness or a man who steers up dissension among brothers. So those are... Uh, um, not peacemaker and also shed innocent blood, lying tongue and uh, haughty eyes and also um, wicked scheme, very uh, schematic and also um, feet running to the evil. I think it's just the lack of wisdom, cannot tell good from evil and a false witness against the um, um, right people and also steer um, those who do not love peace. So these are just the, the wisdom, the wisdom from Solomon. But in the real life, the battle is always there. It's really not anyone's judgment. Whose tongue is steering up? Whose tongue is making peace? So, um, but uh, I think at least uh, this is how I understand and read this and, and try to get some wisdom uh, to, to get some um, be wise like uh, Solomon. So I'm going to stop here and hope that you can read in your own way, interpret in your own way. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.